Imagine a megacity like Atlantis emerging from the sea, a site to boast thriving businesses and residential districts, not just for one city, but for an entire country. A new $6 billion financial hub in Lagos, Nigeria, is expected to completely change the city's skyline and economic environment. This futuristic city would have skyscrapers, luxury residences, and bustling malls similar to those in Dubai. So, join us today as we unraveling the secrets and vision behind the creation of this billion-dollar mega-project. Since the early 1900s, the city has lost at least two kilometers of land to the Atlantic Ocean. In 2007, two billionaire siblings devised a plan to develop a new city entirely on reclaimed ground that had previously been lost to the ocean. This new city was to be called Echo Atlantic City, and plans were put in motion in 2009. Echo Atlantic would not only return Lagos land, but would also help alleviate the city's real estate difficulties. Echo Atlantic was therefore intended to be built on water, much like Dubai's artificial islands. In order to create a strong base, 95 million cubic meters of sand will now be dug up from as deep as 15 meters within the Atlantic Ocean. Land reclamation will add at least 10 kilometers to the Lagos coastline, meaning that the city now makes up for more than 20% of Nigeria's coastline. This time, the need to protect the city from the ocean grew louder, and the planners devised yet another solution. Build a concrete sea wall inside the ocean to protect the city from the raging Atlantic. This outstanding project, called the Great Wall of Lagos that stretches 8.5 kilometers in length and rises to a height of 9 meters, it forms a barrier around a vulnerable area using 100,000 concrete blocks. The wall is currently more than 80% constructed. Echo Atlantic is already moving forward with some of its most ambitious projects, which are organized into eight districts, each designed for unique business, residential, and entertainment purposes. After the 2013 completion of the city's first phase of land reclamation, construction on a residential complex with five skyscrapers got underway. The first skyscraper of the Echo Pearl Towers, which have 24 to 33 stories each, was finished in 2016. Another tower, standing 133 meters tall, has reached its peak, while the remaining towers are still under construction. In addition to the Echo Pearl Towers, 12 skyscrapers including the Lagos Sky Tower and the Alpha One are also being built. When finished, the Echo Atlantic will accommodate about 300,000 people. Hence, except from a few commercial buildings, the majority of these high-rises will be residential structures. A vast network of roads already connecting the different parts of city. Echo Boulevard, the bustling central business district, is geniusly designed to host an eight-lane road, a large 14-meter-wide pedestrian walkway, adorned with LED streetlights, trees, and soaring towers of 30 floors or more, flanking both sides. In March 2022, the United States approved the construction of a half-billion-dollar consulate in the city, marking the most significant development at Echo Atlantic. When completed, it will be the biggest U.S. consulate in the world, spanning 12 acres of Echo Atlantic land. The Nigerian economy will immediately gain from this $537 million project, whose construction of a new consulate building is scheduled to be finished in five years. Additionally, Echo Atlantic boasts an extensive flood prevention system that runs the entire length of the city. The system includes an 18-meter-wide, 3-meter-deep canal that not only prevents flooding but also acts as a transportation corridor within the city. Within the next five years, the city will also have its independent power grid, a sustainable water supply, and an elaborate sewage system. Although the Echo Atlantic mega project appears to be headed toward becoming Africa's economic hub in the sea, Despite all the positive projections of success, the project still faces a number of issues and constant criticism. Some argue that the Great Wall of Lagos is only shielding the recently constructed areas, while diverting the waves of the ocean towards nearby coastal communities. Alpha Beach is one such island, located 12 kilometers east of Echo Atlantic. The locals said that ever since Echo Atlantic's development began, Alpha Beach has continued to sink into the ocean. It was once the most popular tourist destination in Lagos, but half of the beach has been wiped away due to rising sea levels. Experts point out that Echo Atlantic was initially promoted as a way to address the growing housing needs of the local community. However, because the project is commercial in nature, 
none of the original residents have moved into the city. And the reason for this is the rapidly rising cost of real estate. Despite all of these difficulties, Echo Atlantic City is expected to be one of Nigeria's most popular travel destinations and establishing a footprint in the world's fastest growing megacity. What's your opinion about this billion dollar project? If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.